Hi everyone, Roger here from Ascar Experts YouTube channel and I just had a terrible experience because my Gmail and my YouTube account got hacked and stolen. I'm here to let you know what happened and I want to explain how you can recover your stolen YouTube account and recover both your Gmail and your YouTube. You probably have a big fear, and I know one of the biggest fears that I had was, am I gonna lose all of my videos? When my account was stolen, they actually changed the landing page to like a Tesla start, and all my videos were gone. So when I searched any of my videos online, I could not find them. They looked like they were gone, and there was only two Tesla strange videos that the hacker posted. And I think later they went live, and uh, YouTube actually banned them at that point. There was some kind of reason why they did that. I have no idea why they went live. I don't know what benefit they got out of that. So let me reassure you, if this is happening to you, you will not lose your videos. And there's a lot of steps that you can do to prevent this from happening, and I'll explain what happened to me. So it actually started with just a busy day. I was working and I got an email that said that I had a copyright infringement and YouTube can put a strike on your channel or eventually even ban your channel if you have a copyright issues with uh, any of your content. So I thought that was odd. I don't really have anything that would be copyrighted. So I read the email, it looked very legit. You know, a lot of times those hackers end up with spelling errors and whatnot. It looked very legit, it looked like YouTube, and it said, click here for full details. And stupid me, I clicked it. So it's already too late. Now I didn't think anything really happened. There was a flash on the computer and I thought everything was fine. I actually went to Creator Studio, talked to them. They told me I did not have an infringement and asked me if I gave them any information. I did not. So because of that, I thought I was perfectly fine, but later that evening, I found out I was wrong. So around 8.30 that night, I got a notification on my phone that somebody had changed my password. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. So I hopped up immediately, got to the computer, tried to log in, I couldn't log in. I tried resetting my password, wouldn't let me reset it. it wanted me to put in a USB key and the hacker had locked me out by putting a USB key requirement on accessing my account. And you know, what's funny is I was in a loop then. So every time I try to reset it, my, my phone number had changed and I never got a two-step verification notification on my phone, by the way. So they got around that also. Uh, the phone number was changed and the Gmail account was flipped, flipped back to the same, my Ask the Car Experts at Gmail account, and now I have no way to reset my password. And that's when the panic really set in. And I'm like, no problem, I can figure this out. Plus my brother's in IT, so I called my brother, we're gonna figure this out, I'm sure. So we start trying to figure it out and I'm in a loop and I'm in a loop and it wants me to enter um, these codes, these backup codes, which I had. I tried putting the backup codes in, nothing's working. You know, my brother's trying to figure out what we can do. Come to find out, there's nothing we can do. We try to get a hold of uh, Google through whatever means I could, you know, clicking links and the links just loop you to information pages and then link go back to reset your password, which I can't do. I probably did that a hundred times trying to figure out a different path to get my account established because that's when I realized my YouTube account was compromised. So I clicked my YouTube and nope, I am locked out and there's a Tesla start page instead of Asicar Experts. Now that's when the real panic really set in at that point and I could not believe that this happened to me all because I was stupid enough to fall for the email phishing scam, which I will never do again. There is a way to prevent that and actually if you take your cursor and you hover over the account where it says, you know, it's from YouTube and you hover over that, it would actually say that it's from somebody else. And they told me that in Creator Studio, so I should have checked that. I didn't even think to check it. I thought it was pretty innocent to look at the report, and sure enough, it was not, and I got hacked. All right, so let me tell you the beginning step. The first thing you wanna do is don't panic. I have some good news for you. You will not lose your videos, but if you are monetized, and you know, I make a little bit of money off my Ask a Car Expert YouTube channel, and it does help support my family, it does affect your monetization all at the end. So right now, um, I'm, you know, my videos used to make 30 to $50 a day, which isn't a lot, but it does help at the end of the month to help support my family. And now it's way down 
even though my account was recovered. And I'm hoping within a few months, um, everything will be back up to normal. I'll have to keep you guys up to date, but this did affect me monetization wise, but you don't lose your videos. All right, so all of my content is there. I've spent years making this content. That was a big fear. So what do you do? The first step is start a Twitter account. If you don't have a Twitter account, you're gonna to wanna to start a Twitter account and use a good Gmail account address. So log on to Twitter and then you wanna to go to Team YouTube and you need to follow Team YouTube. Once you're following Team YouTube, now you can message them right in Twitter. So I messaged them and I said, hey, this is me. This is my account, this was my channel, and I just got hacked. I don't know what to do, please help. And then you wait. So that is the worst part. That was a terrible night for me. I barely slept. My, you know, my wife tried to console me. I was just, I could not believe that it was happening. I can't believe my account is stolen. I didn't know at that point that I was gonna be able to get it back or not. That morning I did get a message, a private message from the team YouTube and they told me to, here's a link, reset my password. Well, I had to write back to them and tell them that it's not working, I've already tried that again and again and again. So we went back and forth a little bit until I told them, please shut down my account because a hacker has it. I just wanted them to know, shut it down because I don't know what kind of content they're going to be putting out. I think eventually YouTube did shut it down about two days later. And I don't know if it's because of what the hacker did or because of me asking. Um, at that point, um, they said that they were going to look into it. I got another private message. I think each day it was one private message st stating that they were going to go up the, to the next step. And the next step was eventually reaching me via my actual Gmail account, my good working Gmail account. And... I had to verify who I was. So I had a form that they sent me and I had to answer a bunch of personal questions when I started my channel, uh, my publisher ID number, you know, all of that information, my IP address that I normally upload my videos, my location. They're gonna use that to prove that it's actually you and not the person in Russia because that's the notification that I got that was a Russian hacker. I don't know if it was really from Russia or not, but that's what it told me on my phone. So the Russian hacker had everything and the only way I could actually get to recover my account was to fill out all that information and then wait again. So eventually they were able to recover my account and they sent me a recovery email link. So great, this is fantastic. So I don't know if you guys know, but quite a long time ago, I was really big into martial arts when I was younger and my email used to be Kung Fu Roger. So that email account, which I've had so long ago, I have no access to. And I've never set up a new recovery account. Every time I tried to reset my password, it would go to Kung Fu Roger. And I almost think that one got hacked at some point too, because I lost access to it. I contacted SBC Global. They said, yeah, let me help you. What was your last password? And after spending a half hour chatting with someone, they basically told me that I'm out of luck and I can't recover it because it, the account was so old, they didn't have all those backups and phone numbers and everything like that. You know, it was an account that I had maybe 15 plus years ago. That was a dead end and I'm like, oh crap, now what am I gonna do? So I reached out to Team YouTube again and I gotta say I was a little impatient and I did message them a, a couple of times on Twitter and they basically told me to stop I'm looking into it. I just gave them the time that they need. Eventually, I, I was able to verify who I was with the information that they gave me. They sent me a new email link that would allow me to reset everything, including my recovery email and all of my personal information. With that link, I was able to recover my Gmail account. Of course, immediately I put in all the safety steps, two-factor verification, and now I use an authenticator app, which I highly recommend that you add to your, your Gmail and your YouTube um, because it's just gonna help prevent anyone from hacking into your account. Also, don't click on anything like I did. So after I've recovered my Gmail, I wrote back to them and I had to do some more verification steps um, because my YouTube channel was still down. It took a week and a day and eventually I got that email from Team YouTube saying that my account was restored and all of my videos were set to private. So I'm like, all right, this is great because you know that's a week down that my videos are not helping people and they're not helping support my family. So I hope that wasn't gonna affect me, but. An 
unfortunately, that is what's getting me now. So I have all my videos immediately. I woke up, I think it was 4.30 a.m. again. I saw that I got the email from Team YouTube, went downstairs, and I said, man, I gotta get these videos back online. So I set them all back to public and made them all live again, plus some other ones that I had forgotten to even turned on from years and years ago. So great, fantastic, I'm back up and running. So I'm pretty sure I'm getting some decent views again now. Um, I am getting increased subscribers, so thank you everyone. If you've just subscribed, I really appreciate it. Obviously I'm gonna have a lot more BMW and automotive repair videos, and I always try to answer all of your questions and comments that you send to me on all of my videos. And even for more specific help, I can offer some one-on-one -on -one where I can work with you directly via email or text, um, but you have to subscribe and join and you have to be a high octane member. It's a huge relief that my videos are not deleted and they're out there to help everyone again. Um, unfortunately though, the monetization is down significantly and I don't know how bad that's gonna affect me, but you know, I averaged, I mean, I don't mind sharing about a thousand dollars a month from my videos and I'm probably gonna be down to a couple of hundred dollars is what I think. Hopefully, eventually YouTube will start recommending my content back to people and some of those spots that I held with some of my popular videos will be back up and running and people can enjoy them and learn from them. There's a few things you can do to help. You could like, subscribe, and share my videos with friends. The more you can help me promote my channel, better it's gonna be for the channel and me, and enable me to provide better and more content. Like. The Z3 behind me, I'm gonna start working on that very, very soon. It's time to pull the head off. I'm very excited to get into this Z3 cylinder head removal project, and I'm gonna share with you the full steps on how I repair this. And it may come down to needing an engine, but we're gonna pull the cylinder head off, we're gonna check the deck, we're gonna time cert it, we're gonna send the head out, we're gonna put an oversized gasket on it, and hopefully get it up and running, and hopefully with the Z, this Z3 with an M54 engine, I'm gonna be able to provide you with a lot of great information in case you have an M54. Doesn't necessarily have to be a Z3, just any vehicle with an M54, like an E46 3 Series or an E30, and an E39 5 Series and some X5s, X3s, all with M54s, that, that early engine. The only thing with this engine, you never want to overheat it, and that's what happened. It wasn't me, I actually purchased this, and I'll put a link up in the corner for that. Uh, from a customer that unfortunately overheated this engine and caused some major damage. So this is gonna be an awesome project. I hope you join me. Please like, subscribe, and share, and help me out. Help me get back on my feet. I really need you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for, to all my subscribers that are still with me. I really appreciate you and a lot of great content to come. I also wanna do a lot of more information on some electrical diagnosis. Uh, I get a lot of questions about that. What is a short? What is a short to ground, short to positive? How do you check that? And I'm gonna start uh, providing some content on that to help out as well. So if you can think of a video that you're looking for or if you have a question, I'd be happy to help as best as I can and I will talk to you all soon. Take care, everyone.